Roots Magic. And I already have that open. And it opened in the wrong window as well. Um, okay. Enlarge that just a little bit. All right. So we're going to go to File, Import. And here it has a wide variety of different database formats that it can import. Uh, I'll select JEDCOM because that's what we're about today. And I know where the file is. Uh, it wants to know what name I want to give to the file. I'm just going to say ABC. I'll throw it away later. Um, do I want to uh, display surnames in uppercase? So it's asking me for default options for the Roots Magic database, not necessarily for information about how it's going to uh, import data from the JEDCOM. And those options include, you know, what do I want my date format to be? Um, what number, if any, do I want to display after the name? Uh, do I want to display my surnames in uppercase? Do I want LDS support? Do I want family search, family tree support? And do I want to enable web hints? Um, we saw the same options last week when we were looking at um, data entry, creating our first database. So I'm just going to leave all the defaults. None of this is JEDCOM specific. Okay, and then it's asking me, do I want to add a source to tell where the information in this JEDCOM came from? Question we've been asked in almost all the other programs. I'm going to say no, I don't really don't care. Okay, now it imported. Let me see what statistics it's offering me. And did it show me something on the other page? I saw real quick that it imported 3170 instead of 3173. However, when I looked at this yesterday, um, is it stats? Properties, I think. He puts it in properties. Yeah, it is 3173. It's just that it went by so fast. You may not have even displayed that. So this is what we want. Uh, 886 families, 8,307 uh, events, a bunch of other things. 600 and 63 sources, uh, again, four missing. Oddly, the same number as legacy dropped. So maybe they weren't dropped, but merged. Uh, it records 15K citations, uh, almost exactly the same numbers as Legacy 9, the first program that we looked at. Uh, let me, just for consistency's sake, let's look how it handled that military field. Uh, and yeah, it knew to map underscore M-I-L-T as uh, military. Uh, and it's very possible that that underscore M-I-L-T came from Roots Magic or originally. I, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, it uh, has a miscellaneous field. That's interesting. I wonder what it mapped that from. Um, but okay. Now, one of the programs, this one I thought had a log file of things that it could not handle. But it did not pop up and give me that option. And I'm not seeing any logs. So really it's just you're relying on the, on the properties. Um, so again, I, you know, I, w I wish I'd get a uh, status log for all those imports, but um, did not. 